Now I'm going to start the covering of the decals experiment. I don't know if I can save them, but I'm going to try. They are uh, 25 years old, so I'm using this West German fine finish tape, especially made for the edges. That's what they use with the pinstripe. And I've gone all around the edges right here and here, and then I will fill the top of this in with the with the white tape. You don't want to use blue tape because blue tape. Let's see where did I put it? Oh, right here. This has got a low stick threshold. It's mainly used for uh, uh, stained wood right here, so it does not not pull the finish off. Like you can see, the finish has been pulled off right here. Well, if you go to somebody's house and you're doing some cabinet work around their cabinets and you pull some of that off they're going to be real upset and they want everything for free so that's why uh, we only use it for that I will put the white tape up over this and do the same for the other side here now you can see where I've put a little bit of of uh, spot putty in here I'm going to try and save these stickers but in order to do it I'm going to have to paint all the way around them all the black, what my plan is to paint the black all the way around the panels, uh, on the panel with the stickers covered up. Then when I get the black where I want it on the entire back panel, I will pull the, the, t the tape and use some real fine artist brushes and try and repaint the stickers on here. Now, repainting is the hard part but after I repaint if I think it's good enough then I will put five or six or seven coats of clear over the whole thing and then sand the clear down smooth so that's what I'm trying to do because I want to I want to keep the the bike panel retro but these these panels are 25 years old and they simply don't offer the back panel for sale anymore or the decals so I'm going to try and do this. If it doesn't work, then I can. Uh, what I will do is I will take a heat gun or a hair dryer, and you, what you do is you heat this up. If this plan A doesn't work, we'll go to plan B. You take the hair dryer and you heat it up. That heats up the adhesive underneath here, and then you take this and slowly peel it off. And the whole thing will peel off if you use heat. But I don't want to do that because I I really. A lot of people in this town really like this little three-wheeler. They think it's, uh, especially old people, they love this thing. They think it's an electric uh, on-the-road scooter, and then they come along and figure out, oh, it's got gas. And then they think, well, man, that's neat. I've had more old people come up and love this little gyro than, uh, it's totally amazing. So I'm going to give this a try. Normally what I would do, if I was going to paint this, is there would be no decals on it. I would have new decals in hand. Then what I would do is sand the gel coat down. This is a gel coat. It's a, it's a paint applied to the plastic as it's injected molded. That's why it's called gel coat. I'll sand, uh, I would sand everything down and I would prime it a couple times with gray primer. The reason I'm not using gray primer right now, there's a, there's a big reason for that. And generally, if you're an auto body, you would do the gray primer first because it has excellent paint adhesion. The reason I'm not doing that is because if I get gray up underneath these experimental cover for any reason, then I have then I'm dealing with I have to re uh, touch up the black to get the gray out. Then I have to smooth the black out, and I have to do this and this and this and this, and I don't want to do that. Therefore, I'm going to apply the paint directly on here, and I can. I've got the uh, the scratches out where I want them, and some some people go, well, you can't put that directly on the plastic. You need to put it on the primer. Well, yes and no, because like I said, spot putty is nothing more than very very concentrated primer. That's what it is. It has the same ingredients. It has the same 
lacquer base and that's what it has and if you'll notice here remember there was a big rip right here and you want to smooth everything out so that you have a thin sheet see just of, of, of a little bit extra but not very much more and right here and it went down to a scratch here we had a big scratch right here these are scratches these are scratches these are actually right here the black is actually um, those are high spots and you can see the high and the low spots along this edge where it was scratched and what I've done is basically taken most of that out to where I'm happy with it and I'll have to put the orange tape on this side right here and I'll after I get the orange tape done what I've done here is I had a, I had a big rip right there so I put some spot putty on there and I got it nice and smooth. I'll have to repaint the gold and then the black and not I won't have to repaint this red this red one's not real easy but I got a little problem with it over here with the red one and I'm once once I get the color on the gyro s where I want it then I'll lock the whole thing in by spraying heavy duty clear on it and then I'll sand the clear on top of that and then it'll be set in there it, it, everything will be locked in and hopefully I can get some artist brushes and do this fine work now I am a painter I'm a car painter I'm a house painter I am NOT a portrait painter which I would love to be maybe you know when I'm getting too old to do houses and cars I'll I thought about getting some real neat paint by not paint by number paintings and uh, doing that my younger brother's really good artist but I'm not but I will um, attempt to repaint the soot the gold and repaint the black and whatever else I need to do to make this look normal and that, that'll be the hardest part but that's where we are right now I'll do the tape work up and then then work on uh, getting the rest of the panel ready to spray black I was take it one step at a time remember it's easy if you know what you're doing if you practice and you have a little bit of faith and I know you can do it so grab your bike panels you're not gonna hurt them and follow my videos and if, it, if any of these videos help you well remember they're all for free so to my worldwide audience, thank you for watching my videos. God bless.